A survey is a research technique that uses interviews or standardized questionnaires to gather data from a chosen sample of people. A questionnaire is frequently referred to as the survey. The survey procedure consists of more than just the questionnaire. In addition, demographics for inclusion must be chosen, instruments must be pre-tested, procedures must be decided upon, validity must be ensured, and findings must be analyzed, see Calton 1989. In many social research contexts, choosing the sort of survey to use is one of the most important decisions you will make. When making decisions, the following elements are crucial, accessibility and population density are important. One must ask, is it possible to count the population? You have a comprehensive list of the units that will be sampled for various populations. Others find it impossible or very difficult to assemble such a list, for example, Comprehensive lists of individuals with valid driver's licenses or voter registrations are available. However, no one maintains an exhaustive record of the homeless. You will probably need to go find the respondents in person if you are conducting a study that needs feedback from homeless people. You can pretty well rule out the use of telephone interviews or major surveys in these kinds of situations. It is a requirement of questionnaires that responders be literate. Although many adult populations may initially seem to support this idea, adult illiteracy rates are known to be startlingly high. Furthermore, if some of your responders are literate, your questionnaire can contain challenging or specialized jargon. Questionnaires would not be a good idea for young children. Our world is multilingual. There are people in almost every civilization who speak a language other than the majority. Is it possible for you to create several versions of your survey? Can you ascertain your respondents' linguistic proficiency in advance while using postal instruments? Can you be sure that your instrument's significant meanings are not culturally specific? Is it possible that some of the subtle differences in style that are significant will be lost throughout the translation of your questions? Why should we anticipate cooperation from those respondents, even if the researcher might not be malicious? The responders run a serious legal risk if the material they provide ends up in the hands of law enforcement or other uninvited parties. This also applies to any target group involved in undesirable or unlawful activity. Is the geographic distribution of your population of interest too wide for you to conduct a personal interview study on? You might be able to transmit a primary instrument to a national sample, you might be able to interview them over the phone. However, if respondents are widely distributed, it will almost likely be harder to conduct research that calls for interviewers to visit them in person.